Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of... Dig Ass Arl Craft. Oh god, okay, there's a banshee immediately attacking us. That's an accurate start to any episode if I've ever seen one. Now you might be asking yourself, what are we gonna do today, Flynn? Last episode, you made an enchanting table. What now? Where do we go from here? Well, you can see, uh, we're still little babies, okay? So we need to get more levels, more experience, all right? We'll get to level 30, at least, so I can start enchanting some books. But we are beefier now, see? Because we got beefa, beefer, beefo, and silver boots. We're gonna go to the, uh, hold on, I think I marked it somewhere. Let's see, over here, all right, Dungey Boy Extreme. So let's head on over there, and let's gonna go start battling people. We'll be there in just a second. All right, everybody, we're here. And apparently there's a Maka inside the dungeon, so that's a little weird, but, um, I don't really know what this dungeon's gonna entail, because I've never seen it before, but I guess we'll just start slowly walking in here. Okay, some people over there, that's neat. Doesn't look like they have spawned in yet, so I'm gonna take this as an opportunity. There's way more to, oh god, nope, okay. Let's, okay, I don't really know what's happening, but I'm gonna run out of here because this is the dumbest debuff in the world. So we're gonna put our wood in here, we're gonna put our uh, flint and steel, the sleeping bag, and I guess we'll store any valuables here as well. Alright, it'd be nice if I had a bow, but I don't. That witch was very, uh, armored. She didn't take that much damage. Why are these witches so beefy? I feel like I do no damage to them. Oh, you guys set each other on fire, how's it feel to- Oh god. Man, witches don't make no sense anymore, what the hell? Frickin' nausea, are you serious? Well, it's not gonna work on me, I can't become- God, it had to be witches, man, are you serious? Ooh, shovel, ho and no- Oh, hey, how you doing? So you do, like, no damage to them. Where do you come from? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Oh my god, look how many freaking witches there are! Jesus Christ! Okay, please don't blow up my freaking chest. Important items in there. Oh my god! There, she's dead. Uh oh. Okay, well thank god we have feather falling. Oh, stop it. Damn, this halberd sucks. Why does it suck? I'm only doing five, eight damage to these guys. What the fuck? You see what I mean? Jesus Christ, what the hell's happening? Come, come on, nymph. Don't be like that, you fucking jerk. Here, I'll just go to your friend over here. Thank you, darling. You're so much nicer than your friend. All right, we're all healed up. Okay, so we got to, uh, let's see here. I don't have many materials, so I can't really make a bow yet. That's gonna have to wait. Okay. Why are there so many witches? Holy crap, I don't even know what to feel right now. Okay, so this is going horribly, alright? This halberd, it does so little damage, and I don't know why. Specifically against the witches. You know, in the other dungeon with just a base diamond halberd, we were doing- we were doing 16 damage per hit, it was just wonderful. I feel so weak, and I'm sick of them blowing things up, because it's destroying all the loot. Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Why is it only witches? Why are there only witches in this place? I'm on the first floor. Look at that. <laughs> I guess you can't really look at it because I'm fucking nauseous right now. What the fuck, man? What the absolute fuck is this place, okay? This wouldn't be so hard if I wasn't doing so little damage. Here, we'll try the bronze battle axe. I don't know, maybe that'll be better. Yes, 100%. Think something's up with that uh, penetration enchantment. Okay, see you later. Excuse me, please stop blowing up everything. What the fuck? Just die! Oh my god. Good thing we didn't walk into this place beforehand, holy crap. Thank you, Nymph. You are honestly keeping me alive right now. But yeah, that's kind of sad. Because it says damage dealt by the item partially ignores armor. I wonder if because these enemies are unarmored that it just reduces the damage, theoretically? So our diamond halberd is not that good right now. Ironically, this bronze battle axe is doing much better. See, that's the kind of damage I was looking for. I cannot complete this dungeon if I gotta hit everything five times, you know? Our goal right now is to clear out the first floor. And probably the second floor, because there's holes in it. Arrgh. Shut up. What did I just say? Yeah, I don't know. Penetration bad, me assume. Good thing I put it on a diamond halberd. That was me being facetious. Okay, so let's see about these guys. So I do 19. Well, that one did too because he was almost dead. But hold on. There's another one. Stop it. Jesus Christ. 
No, it does pretty much the same damage. See that? Doing 13. Here we go, this guy. 14. Yeah, what the hell? I think the math on this enchantment is bugged. No, not this again. Two minutes? I'm guaranteed dead. Spinning and perplexity? Are you serious? Let me out of here. It reversed my jump and crouch it also. <laughs> yes, I love this. Well, I guess I'll be back in a minute and a half. Again, whoever programmed this, so I hope that you have bad poops for like a week. Look at the armor durability, oh my god. Okay, so this is, um, honestly the worst dungeon experience I've ever had. Uh, I still have 20 seconds of having all my controls reversed, so we'll just have to wait a second here. But guys, we're, we're on the second floor of this goddamn thing, and this is, it's like a billion witches. Like, is this specifically a witch place? Like a witch house? Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and head back in here, because these things are spawning even on the ground floor. Please don't give me those debuffs again. Please no. Please just leave me alone. Alright guys, hold on. We're gonna put a pin in this, because this, this dungeon is... Not fun at all. Okay, and we're not even getting that much stuff, so I'm just gonna grab any valuables that I found in here, which isn't really that many of them. Okay, I'm gonna stop by home, and then we're gonna head on to a different dungeon that's not that one, because holy shit, that was fucking stupid. But yeah, we're not rocking the uh, armor penetration halberd anymore. I don't know if... I don't know if... Maybe because... Some enemies have zero armor, it does some weird math, and then it does less damage than it's supposed to, but literally that halberd turned up. It was pretty much like using a wet noodle to hit those witches, and there was like so many of them. Uh, hello? Get down here. Get out of my tree. That's the kind of damage I'm looking for. Let's see here. Multi-shot two. I guess that's not bad. Alright, that was kind of a waste, but that's alright. How do we make that disenchantment table? We need to clear up some of these. Golden bookworm scales. Ah, oh, that's in the defiled lands. Okay, so that's gonna be a while until we get that. What do we need? We need diamond boots. We also need to repair our other armor. That's very important. So let's do that, like, right away. Diamond boots. No quality or anything on them. Let's go ahead and repair some thingies. I feel like this would be a really nice bobble to have. I need four spectral silt and five gold ingots. I have enough of that. So we get 4% attack damage, we're slightly lucky, and we get a bigger invincibility duration after being attacked. That'll help us not get booty slapped in the- oh, hey, how you doing, Aspid? Um, I'm gonna kill you, okay? Hope you don't mind. Bap, bap, come back here. Don't run. Hey, the dragon's back. Oh, maybe it is the same dragon. I wonder if I can hit it from here. Wouldn't that be cool? Yoink. Maybe almost? Yoink. It's pretty far away. It would be very hard to hit it, so I'm just gonna continue on with my day. Alright, let's sleep real- oh, get out of here. Freaking boy trying to watch me while I sleep, what the hell? Hey! It's a vineyard! I'm aware that there's some wine brewing process through Rustic, I think, that is used to make some very powerful potions or something like that, so I'm just gonna grab these. Uh, real quick. Ooh, just thinking about it makes me want some wine. And I don't even like wine all that much. You're probably like, Flynn, but wine is just like really sweet alcohol. And I'll be like, I know. I just don't like alcohol. Oh, this is how we make warp scrolls. Okay. Eh, not too bad. They're not that expensive. All right, all right. Ooh, cows. I, uh... Ooh, yes, I can pick you guys up. That's right. I will take you guys home because I need to get a little cow farm. Or do I? Well, I just need one of you for milk, pretty much. That's all I really want. We'll deal with that later. All right, the main thing I wanted to come over here and see was this building. Because it seemed a little sussy that this was just sitting up here. Oh god, this is a dropper. Potion of strength and some items. How is this supposed to activate? Well, alright. Is there anything up higher if I go higher? Marvelous, there's nothing up here. Want to do trees? Cushion all fall damage? Probably not. Oh god. Hey, stop that. Um... Oop. Okay. That didn't feel good. Damn, there's a whole lot of pixies around this area. What is this? A graveyard? Okay. Yeah, uh, don't care. Thank you. Don't mind me just gonna desecrate all these graves in the hope that there's some sick loot in there. And there's nothing. Oh! Wonderful! A dragon. Let's just continue on this way. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I think that's another, uh, village. Well, there's a Yale here. I'm gonna kill it because it's a big, fluffy little thing, and I like to murder innocent animals, apparently. All right. We're back at another one of these towns. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one on my map. Village number two. Hello, gentlemen. You take paper, which is pretty cool. You take rotten flesh and gold. I don't have those for you. But one of your friends had a town like this too, and they had some good stuff, so, uh... Hope you don't mind me perusing around. 
We already found a diamond pet armor, which is really nice. That's seven diamonds. You're locked and enchanted, but you probably hold really good loot. So we're, we might make it enough lockpicks to try it, but we might also die while trying to lockpick that. God damn it, you guys too with the frickin' doors. Here's what I will do. I am gonna start cooking you guys down. Let's see, the diamond pet armor and the diamond skirt. I can pick up these arrows, because these arrows are very nice. I'm breaking three, feather falling three, and protection four. These are good. We're gonna make some diamond lock picks, I lied. I have normal ones, but I, I, I don't want to deal with dying to an enchanted lock. All right, so let's give this a shot. There we go. Nice, that was worth it. Two diamond. God, the amount of arrows that they have. Oh, what I was gonna do is I was gonna make a quiver while I was here. Quiver, 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 there it is. Uh, one string, that's fine, we can make that. So we'll equip one, and we'll drop the arrows, pick them back up. Hey, there's a zombie in here. Careful, you guys. Last thing I- how did he get in here, anyways? There's a golem and everything? Hey, you guys suck at keeping doors closed. You're coming with me, cow. Man, I really didn't expect that this episode I'd be spending like 25 minutes just walking a cow home. It wasn't really on my agenda, but you know what? We're doing it. I don't even have a home set up for you yet, cow. You're just going in a hole in my front yard. It'll be a nice hole, though. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what you're used to. But you're a cow, and you don't know what I'm saying, so none of this matters. Come here. Get in the hole. There you go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shut up. I just need you for milkies. We're gonna put protection four on our boots here. We're gonna call these Beefowl. And now we have a lot more protection on our armor. It's pretty nice. All right, everybody, today was a weird episode, but you know what? Next time, we'll go ahead and take on some better dungeons. But I'm out of time, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.